Welcome to John's Detecting Adventures out and about. Searching for that elusive history. Coins, artifacts. The farmers cut their grass. Empty two out of here. Still in there, wherever it is. Ah, uh, yes, I think we've got a coin. Yes, definitely a hey, coin. Georgia 6, 1938. Penny. I think there's another target down here. Another target down there. Ah, there's another one. Another penny is on it. It's in there. Is that a penny or is it silver? It's another coin of, wait for it, oh, Edward, Edward, Edward the Seventh, yeah, what's the date of that then, a minute, let's have a look, see if we can find it. 1907 Edward 1907 half penny is there any more there's another one down there aha aha Ugh. down there somewhere or is it in the sod see if it's in the sod then No, it's there. Could this be silver? Or is this another copper coin? Ah, right, here we go then. It's a nice one. Yeah, come on, where is it? Yeah. Still down there then somewhere. Oh dear. It's further on then. Oh, there then. Well, we've shifted it, so it must be in the vicinity of wherever. It's just there then. Disappeared. Must be out then. Ah, oh, that's why. It's out. Out is this. And who's this then? Oh, it's another Edward. Edward Arpen, eh? Can we get the date? Can we get the date? That's what I say. And this is 1906, I think. Half penny, 1906. I think there's another coin here, somewhere. 
needs to dig it out. I think down there somewhere. <laughs> so three coins so far down one hole. We're doing well. Put this with the silver. Great. Mm-hmm. Somebody's got an hole in their pocket. Definitely. 72 that. Oh, it's there. I've seen it. There you go. It's another one. George V this time. <laughs> That's four coins. Very good. Yeah, what's the date of that then? Let's have a look. 1916, First World War. <laughs> Another coin close by. George V. So a lot of coins around here. Strange. There's another one somewhere. Whether it's out or it's in the ground, I don't really know. It's in the ground. Oh, interesting, isn't it? Something. Could this be silver? Hey, hey. I hope so. Now then. Let's have a look. Try the pinpointer. So we can locate it. Down there. No, I'm afraid it's a tin can. No more coins. No <laughs> tin can that after all that. 32. Do me to 44. Bit of a copper fitting. 84. It's there. Oh, oh, that's nice. Look at that. It's a sort of uh, Isle of Man badge. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's interesting. Look at that, then. We'll have a bit of that. 82, I think. Yeah, Isle of Man badge. Interesting. They clean it all up. I'll show you later. 76. Interesting. Oh, we've got it out. 
whatever it is. It's in there. It's a cow tag. 36. Deep lead. That's what that is. Deep lead. Fifty nine. All right. I'm good now. Mm. <laughs> Crap, I'm afraid. That's right. Rubbish. Ten. Thirty-six. Oh, I got it out actually. Interesting. So to tab. Is it a pendant? Crasp? Don't really know, but it's fancy. Nice. Brass. Hmm. Unusual. 46. Oh, we got it out. 46 is out. But what is it? Oh. Some sort of draw handle. Brass. Draw handle. Brass bucket. 57. Oh. <laughs> Ring pull. 2017. Well, 80. And we've got it in the sod somewhere. What is this here?
ってねえねえはいっちゃいそれなそしたらブラスファスニングなったらいいっちああ、Victoria and Penny. Ah, the day is、uh, eighteen sixty-five. Victoria and Penny. Fifty-five. Hmm, what's this then? Piece of、uh, copper, copper bin. Yeah, silver button there then. 17th, 18th century there. Cuff button. Let's have a go with the pinpointer then. See if we can get it. Oh, it's there. Somewhere. Yeah, oh, what's this? Oh, the tin can. Looks like a tin can. Bottle top. 2000. Well, no, I would say Find it with a pinpointer. Put、oh, it down there. Yeah. Here's a nice piece of lead. Yes. Well, this is sixty one. There's another cow talking personally. That's what it is.、Oh, 33. Like it's some sort of spoke or something. Not what we want. Can we get it?
bit of pottery there coming out of there. Probably Victorian, I think. Hmm. of a buckle, belt buckle that, different, different belt buckle 61. Well we've got it out. See, uh huh, there you go. Georgia Half Bennett, Georgia Third, that's what it is. 60. I think it's some sort of a uh, part of a tap. Solid brass, brass bucket. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Some sort of tin. Whatever it is, it's not valuable. Fancy though. Ah, we've got a 43. Open knife. Ninety two. Oh, hey, might be silver this. Might be silver, and it is. <laughs> yeah, yes, we've got a one. <laughs> there you go, clear as day. Edward the Seventh, shilling. Not in, not in very good condition, but we'll have a bit of that. Jolly good. After a long day's detecting, you can't beat a bit of silver. A shilling of Edward the Severed. Doesn't have a date on, not very good in condition, but it'll just do me. It'll do me. Yeah, that was deep. Oh, George uh, the sixth uh, half penny. That was quite deep, that. Well, this is what we found today. Um, part of a tap. Tap uh, lever or opener or whatever. Um, bit of copper fitting. I got a horse brass. You can see the decoration on there. Horse brass decoration. Buttons, a D buckle, it's large, probably for an animal. Uh, I don't 
know what that is, it's just a piece of lead I think. These little spokes. <laughs> um, big one and little one. Some sort of door, drawer handle again. I think this is part of a uh, um, cow tag. Type of belt buckle, and this I think is uh, another type of clog clasp. Uh, how fancy it is! And this is quite interesting. We've got a you can't really see, but I'll probably have to clean it up. But it's an Isle of Man badge, group badge. Then we've got the coins uh, Victoria, George III, George V. And the half pennies of the said kings and queens. And of course, we've got the silver. Um, Edward the Seventh, a shilling, not in good condition. Don't know what the date is. I better check it out. And that's what we found today. Well, another exciting day of metal that it comes to an end you don't want to go home but you've got to do because your stomach's telling you you need some food and a drink but i enjoyed every minute it's been brilliant what an adrenaline rush at least i got silver thanks for joining me and we'll catch you on another adventure <laughs>